You have entered the Alice pod. Take a seat, sit back, and relax. Today's video is going to be a hotel to be. This is for the For Rent pack that is coming out on the 7th of December. I'm assuming a lot of you watched the um, premiere of the trailer. So I thought, what's best to build next? A hotel, which will be semi-functional, more functional than they've ever been so far in The Sims 4. So, whilst filming this, I had filmed about four hours after this first section, and um, it turns out I'd been recording a blank white screen. I was unimpressed, so all you see of this build is this section here, the shell, and just this bits, bits and bobs, and then we'll just skip straight through the walkthrough. Because that's one of the only things that didn't record blank. So you won't get to see exactly how I did everything, but you do get to see the exterior shell being built. And if I do say so myself, it looks pretty modern and... No, I guess not modern, I don't know. It looks pretty cool. Ignore that window. There we go, I sorted the window out. Eventually. There's so much clipping. Anyway, so you walk through and you've got sofas or line in the windows, you've got a desk with computers that unfortunately aren't functional right now because I use bb.move objects on and position them weird. This is the dining room. We're going to go straight to the desks now. So yes, the PCs are not functional, but it's okay. They might be functional in something we get from the for rent pack. That's the public bathroom, this is outside on the veranda. You grab a drink or a meal from inside and come outside. A slight peek into the kitchen there. We will go back around and go through the kitchen. This is on the left hand side of the building or the right hand side of the building. It's the same on both sides. Here we go, take a trip to the next side. That building there is available on the gallery and it is a pastel restaurant. So the access to the kitchen is from the outside in, so you can't get in it through the inside of the main building. This is the kitchen. Not so bad if I do say so myself. I love them cabinets. I cannot remember what pack they're from. Lumina. But it's a smallish kitchen. I know, it's a big hotel. But it is what it is. A little bit of artwork here and there. I even remember to do the ceilings, but we'll ignore the corners of the round bits because they never work. So up to the first floor, straight through, this is a little meeting area, chill area. We've got a little utility closet here for oh. amenities for the hotel, I guess. And we're going to go and look in a couple of the rooms, most of them are very similar. You've got your wardrobe space there. I didn't fill it because when you go into a hotel, you take your stuff with you. So I sort of kept it as basic as possible. This is the built-in TV. There is a video on YouTube on the shorts page of my channel to explain how I did that. It's very simple. Go and check it out. Um, we go on the balcony. Some of the rooms have two balconies. Some of them have one. There's lounge chairs here. Got a nice little view. I love that fencing. Not just because it's got purple in it. So, onto the bathroom. I've basically copied and pasted most of the bathrooms on the floors. You've just got your basics, you've got a hairdryer. I love them doors from Discover University. They look like hotel doors. I hope we get more of them in the new pack, in the for rent pack. This is functional. This is a hanging thing. I think it's from City Living. Placed above the door, and you can walk right through it. So we've got a kids room there. You've got your desk, you walk across and you've got your main bedroom, the master bedroom, again with the built-in TV and view onto the balcony. This room has two balconies. This is one of them, you've got a table and chairs. On the other one there is a lounger. As I say, I don't go through all the rooms. This is the other balcony, but I don't go through all the rooms because a lot of them are similar. Um, you can download it on the gallery. I'll try and put the link in the description of this video. So we're not going to view the other rooms on this floor, we're going to go to the second floor. And I even put the fire extinguishers and fire exit signs. 
This is my favourite. It's in the sort of a shape of a heart, the best I could do. So here we've got another utility room where you can come and pick up your cots for the bedrooms if you need a cot. You can put it in your inventory, in live play. Onto another room now, they all have their wardrobes there. Um, this is a twin room. There's double rooms, twin rooms, there's double rooms with kids and toddlers and babies and all sorts. So this is another room. This is a two doubles in a room. You got your TV. I didn't put separate TVs on them bed because I know it's not real life. But I'd find it annoying if someone else's TV was that close and they had it on. This is another room where you've got a little sofa. This is a, just a double room. It's like a master penthouse kind of room. You got a bigger bathroom here as well. There's two rooms with the bigger bathroom. And there we have it. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Like, subscribe and comment. Bye.